Let's have a look at how we would use the wall mockup templates in Canva. First, we're going to navigate to canva.com on our computer, and you can do this in either a free Canva account or a professional one. So from Canva, what we're going to do is create a new design, and we're going to go in and select a custom size for our design. Our wall mockup templates are 2048 pixels by 1365 pixels. And so you're going to ensure that pixels are selected here instead of inches, millimeters, or centimeters. And we're simply going to click the button, create a new design. This will open up our canvas in Canva. And next, we might want to give it a title here. So let's call it our wall art mockup. And then we are going to need to bring a template into Canva that we want to use. In order to do that is what we do is we navigate to our menu here at the side. If it's closed, you just hover over and click on this gray bar. And you can see you have a lot of different choices here is what we're going to do is go to the upload section. When we click uploads, we're going to select this purple button that says upload files. And we're going to navigate on our computer to where we store our wall art mockup templates. And let's select, um, which one will we use? Let's um, select this nice leather couch uh, vignette here. And we're simply going to click that and say open. And that's going to upload our template into Canva. Once it's here in Canva, all we need to do is simply click on that and drag it over to our uh, canvas here. And then you're going to just click and to release it. Next, we want to insert our image into the Canva template. So we can see we have our opening here where we want it to go. We're going to again go to uploads. We're going to select upload files and we're going to navigate to our computer to where we have the image we would like to put into the template. Let's select the girl with the goldfish here. I call this one Gus the goldfish. We're going to double click or click on open to move it into our Canva library. And then we can just simply click and drag it over on top of our image. And we can then resize it by grabbing any of the side handles here until it's approximately the size of our opening here in our template. Now, as you can see, obviously this is putting our image on top of our template and we want it to be tucked in behind so that it is in behind the image frame. In order to do that, with our image selected, we're going to go to here and click where it says position. From the position uh, tools, we're, we're going to see we can we have two selections here from our tabs. We have arrange or layers. Either one of them will work. If you're in the arrange panel, you simply tap backwards and it's going to move our image one layer backwards in our layer stack. And there you go, it's tucked it behind. If you want to see it in a different way, you can select, select the layers tab here and that will show you all of the layers here in our work area. And you can simply grab your image and drag it down in the stack behind the frame template. And there you have it. We've selected our image here and we can um, go ahead and then export that so that we can use it wherever we like. In order to do that, you just simply click the share we're going to go down to download. We're going to select the type of download we want. Do we want it to be a PNG file or a JPEG file? Perhaps maybe even a PDF, an F, SVG or a GIF. We will choose JPEG here. Keep the size at one and the quality. I always like to slide up 
to 100% so that we're saving in the highest quality possible. Then you're simply going to click the downloads button and that's going to download your image to your computer. And there you have it. It's that easy to use these templates here in Canva.